hello and welcome to the second part of cake page p tutorial now in this tutorial we'll be trying to create um, or set up cake php on a local uh, directory which is inside wamp um, we just um, added a folder that is cake folder and uh, this was uh, in our previous tutorial now we'll be setting up uh, this cake uh, directory uh, into a cake application so I'll j I just try to access a uh, cake folder using um, localhost slash cake and this is what I get now I have two notices and an error so the first notice says that um, I need to change the value for security salt and the second notice says that I need to change the value for security cipher seed and the third one is uh, you need to create a database configuration file okay so we'll be doing that so that is what um, basically a cake a setting up cake application means and it also gives a green signal for the following things um, it checks if our PHP version is greater than 5.2.3 I mean 5.2.8 it's also check if um, the temp directory is writable and it also tells that uh, the file engine is being used for co-caching okay now uh, um, this part, the second part, uh, this is the temp directory is uh, writable. Um, if you are working on a local server, um, I mean, if you are working um, with WAMP or if you are working with XAMP or if you are working on MAMP, um, most probably this will be writable. But uh, when you are uploading your files to a server, to your live server, uh, what happens is that temp directory might not, might not be writable. So make sure that you give uh, 755 permission to all the files sorry all the folders um, which is like this 755 permission to all the folders and 644 permission to all the files um, this should make it all up I mean I'm saying this if you get an error with this part uh, or uh, yeah that's it um, so if you give a file permission in that way it should um, it should work uh, <coughs> Now the next thing that you have to keep in mind is to change the security salt. So to change the security salt, um, what you have to do is uh, go Google um, um, high security password and uh, you'll get the first link as a GRC ultra security password and you can have this um, long string which is um, random hexadecimal character. We'll copy this and uh, we'll open our cake uh, installation we'll go to um, app inside app inside config inside that we'll find a file called core ph core.php we'll open that and uh, towards the middle of the file you can see uh, what is called as security salt uh, we will have a security salt which was defined by cake uh, so we'll uh, delete that and we'll copy and paste uh, this uh, one the security salt that we took from GRC ultra high security password now you'll also need to change the security cipher seed so cipher seed is basically a number we'll just uh, change that um, and add our own number and we'll save it okay and uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is that once your cake application is set up and once you have registered a couple of users then don't change your security salt now this is because um, say you have a user table and you are saving the password as md5 and encrypted and um, once you have done that um, cake produces md5 encry encryption using uh, the security salt so which means your password is hashed with security salt and it produces uh, a unique um, unique value um, with the help of the security salt so suppose if you change this one after some days of development uh, even though uh, when a user tries to log in um, his password is hashed with this uh, with this value with the new value and uh, again a new password will be generated which might not be matching with uh, the one that is already in the database so um, you will have issues with login uh, if you change the security salt so it is always um, you know keep in mind that don't change the security salt once you have already um, set up um, the cake installation okay so we'll save this um, and then we'll go back to our cake installation um, and refresh the page okay we can see that the notice has disappeared and uh, there is one error still which is um, we don't have a cake database configuration file is not yet present so we'll go to the um, cake installation that is www cake folder and inside the cake folder we'll go to app folder and inside the app folder there's something called config 
and inside that you can see this file which is database.php dot default so we'll remove the last part that is dot default so we'll click uh, we'll change that as database.php now we'll refresh the page now you can see that the error message has changed and the cake cake is not able to connect database so we have a database uh, file which is trying to connect to some um, database but then it is not possible so we need to configure that so we'll open um, database.php which is present inside the app folder inside config inside uh, that we'll have this database.php so we'll open database.php and then we'll go down um, we have database configuration over here so before we can enter any values inside this uh, this this array defined over here we just have to create a database i've already done that um, this is a database that we are talking about um, block now this will be our, our database for the purpose of tutorial so we'll just type in block um, yeah uh, so over here the database name should be block uh, the password um, since it lo it's local host we don't have a password and the login is going to be root and host is going to be local host and persistent is going to be false because we don't need persistent connection and then database source is going to be database slash mysql we'll save that and we'll go back to our uh, uh, kick um, we will go back to Chrome and refresh the page and uh, yeah that's it we have uh, just created cake installation okay now uh, basically what we have is a cake installed in your server now you can modify and you can create controllers you can create views and this is going to be uh, your application so yeah that is um, that is what we are going to have uh, we are going to look into the next um, tutorial so we'll I'm going to up stop this for now thank you for watching this tutorial have a great day and do subscribe if you like thank you